All right, y'all, we got an update on the case. Is y'all ready to talk about it? Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. Drop it for your guy, for your B O Y. Do it for your guy, for your B O Y. Come on, baby, we are. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Voodoo Doll TV back with a quick little juice or whatever the case may be. And today we are following up on Young Jeezy and Jeannie Mai with the divorce. Now listen, listen, Lindas, and listen, Lennox. What I need y'all to understand is this has been in the making for a while now. See, Jeezy thought he was slick. While that lady was over there thinking everything was smooth operator, he was over there drafting up papers and all of that. But look, we ain't got there yet. Now, I'm just telling you what I'm about to, I'm about to report, but I'm going to tell you what they said. This ain't what I said. This is what they said. Now, they said that Jeannie Mai and Jeezy is getting divorced because her mama was staying with them, girl. And they said that the baby, you know, and um, the, the grandma, the grandma, the, the, the Vietnamese grandma, she don't want the baby to know rap culture. She don't want the baby to know nothing about her black side, even though the baby dark skin. And they said that the mama had said that they want the baby to speak Vietnamese. So when Jeezy be walking around the house and all of that, they be speaking Vietnam and Vietnamese and he be mad. That's what they said. I didn't say it. That's what they said. They also said, that Jeannie Mai be letting her mama just do whatever she want to do and run the house. And Jeezy tried to push back, but the mama, they said, I didn't say it, but they said the mama might have put a little root on them or something. I'm just playing. They ain't say that part. I had to put that in there. But listen, y'all get what I'm trying to say? They said that this was the issue, the girl mama. And I said, bitch, I know you fucking lying to me. Do you know? Let, let me say this before we get to where I need to be at. Hold on. Now, you see, when a black woman won't move her mammy in, it's hell and high water. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like your mama. I don't want your mama in my house all like that, all in my business. And da, 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 da. But Jeezy won't go let the Vietnamese mama move in, bitch. They say the whole house look like Vietnam, bitch. They say it look like Chinatown over there, bitch. They say Jeezy don't know. They said, then remember, I didn't say it, but they said when Jeezy put the key in the door, bitch, that bitch said, Konnichiwa. I said, bitch, I know you fucking lying to me. Jeezy, you let the people do you like that? Whatever you let, whatever they said, you let them do. You deserve it, my nigga, because you got to be the lost your mind. I'm just telling you what they said. I don't. I don't know. I don't be over there. I don't. I don't. I ain't been to LA before, so I don't know. I'm just telling you what they said. This is what the people saying, and I'm sitting over here saying, "Nigga, you mean to tell me that you would allow Jeannie Mai's mama to move in and run your house, and you pay all the bills?" Bitch, you can't write this shit up like a prescription if you ask the doctor to, bitch. I'm telling you what the people saying. I didn't say it. That's what they said. Now listen. They say Jeannie Mai, this is what they said. I didn't say it, but they say Jeannie Mai is round here where well, she was acting like she wanted to be submissive to her husband. You know, because that was back when um Worm Food, what's the, what's the nigga name who ooh, six feet deep? Kevin Samuels. That's when they said Kevin Samuels was over there, um, you know, praising this relationship. See, black men get you a fit. Feminine and friendly woman like Jeannie Mai. They said that Worm Food was saying, y'all need to go get y'all a Jeannie Mai. They said, Worm Food said, listen, I know I told y'all 35 was where they hit the wall. I know I said that. I was there when I said it. That's what they said, Kevin, Sam Kevin Samuels said. But they said, when it comes to a clear woman, the wall goes down like Jericho. Do you hear me, bitch? That's what they said he said. Now, I didn't watch the video. I wasn't there. I didn't subscribe to the Samuels man, you know. But I'm just telling you what they said that he said when Jeezy got Jeannie. And my, for the life of me, this is just me, bitch. I don't know about y'all, but for the life of me, bitch, what had happened? How? The bitch was fit. Okay. Friendly. No, fit. 
feminine, allegedly, they said. But the bitch wasn't friendly. Bitch, they said that hoe was knocking that nigga head through the wash machine and dryer, bitch. It was crazy. I said, oh, Lord, not Jesus, bitch. You done rapped about all this trapping and, and stacking and, and cracking. And you gonna let a girl. Y'all about to get me in trouble on this thing, girl. But anyway, let me stop josting off of that. Because, see, I'm josting bad right now. <laughs> girl, this is crazy, girl. But anyway, look. This is what I wanted to get into. Now, this is what the people reporting. This is the the the, the sources. This not they say it. This is what the people who got journalism degrees and all of that is saying. This is what they say. So look, I had went over there to the page six people because they had all uh, reported that, you know, they got, I don't know if it was like a statement. Yeah, it's something like a statement, bitch. And they say that page six that Jeezy and Jeannie Mai split over cultural differences, bitch. And I said, what the, what do you mean cultural differences? They had to know they wasn't from the same culture. They had to know, you know what I'm saying? It's just certain one of one of these people eating fried chicken and the other one eating other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you they had to know, they had to know that there were cultural differences. But see, they said since it was the panorama, you know, when that happened and all of that back in 2020. Tensions were high, stress was up, bitches was stuck, you know what I'm saying? With niggas they ain't wanna be with or whatever, and they just jumped the brum. Now Let's get into this article because I need to see what happened. What had happened? Hold on. Now, according to page six, they said a source told Entertainment Tonight that they didn't see eye to eye when it came to the difference of opinions, when it came to certain family values and expectations. You know, niggas don't know nothing about expectations. Then they said they had different views and felt like each Well, wait, hold up. Felt like their needs weren't being completely met. The insider ad. So what what does that mean? They felt like their needs wasn't met. Is are we talking about in the bed? Or is we talking about like culturally, like, you know, um, we gonna do Vietnamese stuff on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Like what what, I'm confused as to what they meant by that. But anyway, let's move on. So now it says Jeezy and his estranged wife, Jeannie Mai, were reportedly not on the same page when it came to certain things in their marriage. The former co-host of The Real and My President Rapper had difference of opinions when it came to certain family values and expectations, which led to Jeezy filing for divorce last week, bitch. It also says they had different views and each felt like their needs weren't being completely met. The insider added, it says in court documents obtained by page six, Jeezy born J. Wayne. Jenkins you know let me let me stop here let me hold on let me stop I need an interjection now you know I swear to God I'm not trying to be funny I swear to God on everything I love I am not trying to be funny but look how are you gonna have a Vietnamese uh culture baby and her the baby last name Jenkins bitch Jenkins is the most nigga last name I have ever heard in my life in all of y'all's life think back to all the nigga last names Jenkins, it don't get no more nigga than that. I don't think I've ever seen a clear person last name Jenkins in my life. I don't think I met one. If you have, drop down in the comments because something going on. Something happened in they, they family lineage or whatever the case. Bitch, how y'all going to have the baby saying the baby got to be on, um, what they say? Oh, uh, cultural differences and all of that. And the baby last name is Jenkins, bitch. Jenkins? Girl, what the baby name? Monaco? Whatever, whatever. Jenkins? Girl, y'all can't make this shit up. Y'all got to be strong. Let me get back to this article. So anyway, it says, yeah, like I said, in a court document, in court documents, I'm sorry, obtained by page six, Jeezy born J. Wayne Jenkins stated that his marriage to my, who's 44, was irretrievably broken, bitch. The Grammy nominee, 45, damn, that nigga old, also asked for joint legal custody of the one-year-old daughter, Monaco. He also stated in the court documents that he and the TV host, have a prenuptial agreement in place. Pause for a word because get Jeezy up here. Nigga. How many churn you got? How many churn you got and how many of them did you want joint legal custody of, nigga? See, see, remember on my video yesterday when I said, this is what I said, this ain't what they said. But when I said I would have paid the baby mamas to get up there and drag you by them Tims, my nigga. I, see, this is why I say that shit because, see, niggas like Jeezy make me sick. Now you want joint legal custody of the, the, the mixed baby. You didn't want joint legal custody of the nigga babies. 
I'm confused. Somebody out there make this type of shit make sense. Now you want to file jerk, jerk, bitch, not joint, jerk, legal custody, bitch. Oh, bitch, please. Bitch, I had them people drag you. Girl. Listen, Jeannie Mai, listen. I'm trying to give you the game, bitch, and I don't like you, hoe, but I'm going to give you the game on this one because this nigga deserved this. Girl, get somebody to get up there and say that the nigga had all kind of nasty things going on behind the scenes so that he can't get jerk legal custody, bitch. Jerk legal custody. The people said you was down there um on the, uh, the, one of the other baby mama's child support and you wasn't around. Now you want jerk legal custody, nigga? See, this why all this shit going to blow up in your face. I know it. I know it. I can feel it in my spirit and in my bones. It's going to blow up in your face, fat. See, you think because you got the bigger name and you got more money, this shit about to be a cakewalk, my nigga. But see, what you don't know is that lady got that card that don't decline. That's that Karen card, nigga. Your ass is grass. I got to be keeping up with this. Let me get back to the doggone uh, article. Get your black head ass off of here, old Jeezy. Not young Jeezy, nigga. Old Jeezy. Get off of here. So anyway, yeah. The um article goes on to read that Jeannie Mai had wrote this caption when he was uh when she was promoting his book. Now, see, she promoting that book as she should, because bitch, I need you to make money when I get. When, when, when we get the vote so I can get this coin. Do you hear me? But look what they said she said. They said she said, your story has always been an inspiration to me, but seeing it in print has left me even more in awe of your strength and wisdom. She captioned a September 6th Instagram post. Then they say, you invited us into the most intimate corners of your life where pain and triumph coexist. Then they say, the mom of one continued to praise her husband, writing that she was endlessly grateful for his voice in the world and honor to walk beside her love. Now, bitch, I read encrypted messages, ho. I see what you saying, bitch. Go ahead, on. She, she, she supporting the nigga so y'all could go out and buy the book. So when y'all buy the book and she go down there to the to the uh, white man in the black robe, she can say that nigga got money, won't have. What's up? I was a supportive wife. What's up? Yay! Shout out to Jeannie Mai. Okay, girl, I don't even like you, bitch. But I just, you know, in this situation, I'm on your side, ho. After this, bitch, I don't like you no more. We back to where we was before this shit started. Anyways. So what y'all think about this? Because listen, they said that he started the paperwork to get this divorce on the way down there in June when she was posting Happy Father's Day to the nigga. This nigga was saying Happy Father's Day, my ass. He was down there at the courthouse. Okay, while she thinking everything was sweet. Look at this video. They, this is what this was them in June, bitch. Go on her Instagram. While she was out there in Vietnam, bitch, embracing her culture with her nigga. He was down there at the cold house, bitch. Probably in virtual cold. You know what I'm saying? Getting the paperwork signed. Jesus is a dirty nigga. That's a dirty nigga. That's a dirty nigga. I don't care what nobody say. That's a dirty nigga, bitch. But um, also on the flip side, Jeannie Mai, if you had your overbearing ass mo down there running the house, they say they got paper machete falling from the sky and all of that because you want to feel like you back in Vietnam, bitch, and your mama over there running all of this shit and all of that, bitch, then it is what the fuck it is. Only thing I can tell you is go ahead on get your little coin, fat. Go ahead on, you know, make sure you got a good lawyer. You get you a good one. Cause see, get you one that's good and like doing celebrity uh uh quick cases and all of that. Because they gonna make sure you get the max. So when they win this case, boom, next time, you know, next thing you know, the next bitch getting divorced, they got clients coming out their ass. You know what I'm saying? That's the only advice I could give to you, fat. But look. I'm telling y'all, the people is saying, the people is talking, girl. The people said it was all because of your mammy. Bitch, please. You, 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 you sat up there and lied to that man and told that man you was fit, feminine, and friendly. And come to find out your ass ain't Anne of the three, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. If you finesse the nigga, finesse him. I ain't got nothing to say about it. I'm minding my black ass business. Do you hear me? But anyway, y'all, yeah. Um, Jeezy, you gotta hold that lick. Take your L, my nigga. Take your L. Take your L, you tootsie roll head bastard. Take it. Yup, you gonna have to take it, bitch. Um, I don't feel sorry for you. Um, whatever happens, it happens. 
Uh, yeah, see you in court, nigga. That's all I got to say to you. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about all of this, girl, because this is too merch. Y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all of the platforms, bitch. And oh, uh, if you got your passport, don't go to Vietnam. Ah, let me stop. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. This is all jokes and jokes, bitch. Don't come down there in my comments with that bullshit. You will be blocked, okay? Anyway, I'll see y'all hoes later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here.